What in the Denny's after dark is going on here? Just, there ain't no way. There, he's making a dang French toast pancake waffle. He's making a dang French pinoffle. Hey, y'all. What's up? So back in again with a video you definitely didn't ask for. It's like a cooking video of mine. So I wanted to try something fun for my son and I. I wanted to do that uh, waffle pancake French toast um, situation. So... I have my cute little waffle maker. It makes like little hearts. So we're gonna have like really cute hearts. My son already made the the mixture um, for the waffles and everything and I have the eggs and stuff. So let's go on this little journey with me. <laughs> so I just plugged up my little, my little guy and um, I'm going to pour the mixture in it for, eh, so cute. Right, let's pour this. In. Put a little bit of butter. I meant to put only a little bit, but I put a little bit more than I intended. This thing doesn't need a lot because it it's very small. So I probably put too much in it, but we'll see. Okay, it's all done. Oh, so cute! Time to put it in the pancake batter. We might have to make another one because I'm definitely eating this one. It's so good. So, really, a little bit, a little different. I decided to make um, chocolate waffles as well. So, mm, chocolate on chocolate with chocolate chips. So, yeah, let's, I just want to try something a little different. While I'm waiting, I'm also do the eggs. So, I did three large eggs. And then I'm gonna put in some cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla extract just so that way it's ready. Oh, <laughs> so, there we go. Almost all done. I hate when the seasoning sticks to the sides. Okay, so now we're just gonna make the pancake part and then um, we're gonna put some of um, this vegan butter. It's like plant based butter. It's very, I don't have that much, I don't use it often. And then um, decrease up the pan. It's been a while since I made pancakes, but let's hope it comes out good. <laughs> hey, time to pour in. I think that's a little bit too much, but we'll see. So this is how much I have. So that'll be the size for all of them. Hopefully, a little bit smaller. Let's see how it works. He is right. This feels really wrong. Okay, so I finished the um, waffles and now I just gotta dip them into the egg yolk and then French toast them. Ta da! So ignore the background. I have the exhaust thing going because I definitely sometimes cook on higher heat and it made the house a little smoky. So, anyway, look! So these, it's the completed version. So it's pancake, waffle, and definitely toasted. The only thing is, the first few I tried to like trim it to make it still look like a heart. Yeah, it's hard to tell which is which because I made one chocolate, one chocolate chip, and one plain. So hopefully, let's see how they taste. This one I'll do in one take, so let me just take a little bite. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put any syrup on it, so. Mmm! Mmm! Alright, not bad. Mmm! So, I would have to say that it tastes a little bit different. There's like three different textures going on here. I tend to like my, um, my French toast mm, with like cream cheese and stuff inside, like super like fancy done up. And I like my waffles crispy, which it can't be crispy. So the only thing that really tastes good is the pancake part. But so good, pretty yummy. Very messy to try, but fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I know this is not my like my normal video, but. It's fun to do. I'll try and do some more.